do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter excretion and osmoregulation and in that we are studying topic structure of malfusion capsules or corpuscles now there was a scientist called as bowman who studied malfusion corpuscles of the kidney in 1842 that's the reason they are also termed as bowman's capsule so let's study about them in detail today now if you see the structure of malfusion corpuscles what i can say is that it is a double or cup shaped hollow structure now being cup shaped hollow structure the outer layer is termed as parietal layer whereas the inner layer is known as visceral layer outer layer which is parietal is made up of single lining or single layers of squamous cells whereas the inner layer is made up of podocyte cells if you see the structure of malfusion corpuscles or you simply say bowman's capsule what you observe is that the anterior side or the side is basically double cup shaped hollow structure now the inner side is or the anterior side is a cup shaped hollow structure in which the outer periphery is termed as parietal layer that's made up of single squamous epithelial cell which are elliptoid which have less spaces in them the nucleus is elongated etc whereas the inner layer is termed as visceral layer and made up of podocyte cells now the podocyte cells which form the inner lining of your malfusion corpuscles or bowman's capsule basically help in ultrafiltration of blood to remove unwanted substances from blood they don't allow your plasma protein and blood cells to pass through them the space or the cavity between the two layer of bowman's capsule or malfusion corpuscles is always termed as bowman's capsular space or you say it urinary space and which is continuous with your lumen cavity of your renal tubule now students this is a structure of bowman's capsule 
or simply you say malfusion corpuscles. It consists of the Bowman's capsule or capsular space along with two blood vessels, the efferent arteriole as well as the afferent arteriole that carry blood. The proximal convoluted tubule is just attached beneath your Bowman's capsule. Now Bowman's capsule forms a very distinct part of your kidney. So students, I hope in this part of the chapter we did study about malfusion corpuscles or Bowman's capsule and I hope you all are very clear with this concept of Bowman's capsule or malfusion cap corpuscles. Thank you.